So here we are at Emerson again, or not? We're in Sussex <laughs> and uh, it's Emerson is there and Tablehurst is over there. So everything is biodynamic and, uh, and yes. clean and nice. Full and of herbs. Unpolluted. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we're here slightly warmer day at last. It's been a very long winter, but here we are at the spring equinox. Yeah. And it feels like it's just turning now at last. Yeah. <laughs> And here, and the reason we're here is because we found a beautiful willow, and we have to get the willow before uh, the sap starts rising. And willows are really easy to recognize at this time of year because they're the only ones that have these little beautiful they are soft lovely, aren't buds. They? So yeah. Soft, like, yeah. yeah, pussy willows. Pussy yeah. willows, yes. And they, these are the uh, closed buds that then become the catkins and they're just starting to form catkins now so the yellow yes yeah and we use the bark so we do and this is the t this is the time to uh, harvest the bark because it comes off really easily now and we've chosen this tree because it has lots of little branches on it and that's the small branches are easiest yes. to harvest aren't they and that's other one yes you can't really trunk but it gets very um, ridged and much older so it's much better to have have the young young bark. In fact I brought a knife so we could try and harvest some bark. But what can we say about willow Francis? Well most people will know its derivative which is aspirin um, but willow was used for a long, long time before that as a very effective anti-inflammatory. Um, so for rheumatic pain um, and general, yes, general inflammation and digestive problems as well. So uh, um, as a fever remedy and for um, bowel inflammation, so perhaps bowel infection because of the tannin in there, helps to astringe if yeah there's a, a problem with that. If, if you have diarrhea, diarrhea or something yeah. yes. or loose bowels or something like that. Would you like to have a taste please? And uh, it's it looks very green and yeah. fresh yeah. the inside, doesn't <laughs> yeah. it? It's lots of it's just coming so you can see that the sap is rising. Yeah. So. That's right. So the way you strip it is just take a knife and just strip the bark off. It's actually really easy to strip off now. So it's not so astringent when it's young, I think. No, no, it's, it's not very, very pleasant. Mm. It's sort of nearly aromatic. Mm. So what do you do if you uh, want to use it for medicine? You make you a tea. Yeah, yes. you make a tea or, or what we call a decoction, mm. which is when you make a tea uh, and boil it. Yes. Instead of making an infusion, which is when you just yes. pour boiling water over. So we, yes, with roots and bark, you need to to boil, decoct it, to extract the ingredients. And I'd say just uh, boil it up for, bring it to the boil, mm -hmm. and then let it boil for a couple of minutes, yes. and then just let it stand in the water mm. for about fifteen minutes. Yes, yes, it yes. Goes a really good colour then. Yeah. <laughs> then you can drink it for. It's a very nice remedy for um, as a fever fever lowering mm -hmm. remedy. In 1763, the uh, Reverend Stone, yes. Edward Stone, was it? Yeah, in Oxfordshire. Yes. From, yeah, from Oxfordshire, used it successfully to cool malarial fever. And so they must have known then that it was, uh, yes. it must have been used before then uh, because aspirin wasn't yes. invented yes. In, uh, yes. <laughs> as a fever remedy then. Same. So in folk medicine, it must have been used as a cooling, fever cooling remedy. Mm. And uh, he and the trouble, obviously, with uh, malaria is that you get a fever that runs far too high, and mm. that's mm. why malaria is damaging. So he managed to cool this fever, which is quite a difficult yes, thing to yes. do. Yeah, and would help with the, any pain and inflammation at the same time. Yeah. It? So, so that uh, sparked interest in, in the 1800s when chemistry really took off, and chemists uh, isolated in 18... 38 or something like that sounds yes. and a chemist managed to isolate the active ingredient in willow which is 
something called salicin. But yes. when they, uh, as they isolated the active ingredient, they took they got the wrong thing, didn't they? Yes, they it was and it was too strong really, so it was too much of a gastric irritant. So they then produced a derivative of, of that, which was aspirin. So it was it was uh, salicylic acid. Yes, they they uh, isolated, and that then became aspirin. Yes. And it's interesting that uh, the name uh, aspirin actually comes from another, yeah, yes, or it's yeah. not a relative to uh, willow, but it has a lot of salicylic acid in it as well, isn't it? Which is the meadow sweet, yes, um, which is actually very healing to the stomach. Um, yes, yeah, so so it's a it's a natural willow and uh, meadow sweet are natural aspirins, and what's so interesting is that. If you use the willow as it is, the the um, or use willow instead of aspirin as a fever lowering and uh, pain relieving yes. remedy, it takes longer uh, be before it works, and um, that may be because uh, it contains salicin, which uh, doesn't destroy or damage doesn't, the stomach. Doesn't damage the stomach. It and doesn't then, get converted until further down into salicylic acid. Yeah, so the yes. body converted into salicylic acid, which is the uh, anti-inflammatory and the um, pain, the pain relieving yes. part. So, uh, yes, it's amazing, really. They should have nature had it all, really, without. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, it doesn't have as strong as. A, anticoagulant effect or pain relieving effect because it well not as quickly because it takes longer to work but it is effective and yeah. I'd always use it in combination with other herbs so for joint pains or arthritis you need to look at the, the root cause but you can include some willow in a prescription with perhaps some nettles, meadow sweet, celery seed, dandelion root and ginger as well for circulation. Mm, yes, um, and ginger is a good uh, arthritis remedy yes, as well, isn't it? Yes. And I think it's very interesting that uh, when you look at energetic medicine, that willow mm. likes, it, there's a stream behind yes. here. And you always find willows where it's uh, damp. Yes. And uh, and it, it does sort of, uh, you can use it to treat treat damp diseases. Damp but conditions, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, um, it's cooling and drying, we say, and uh, of course, any inflammation, the name mm. says that it's flame, it's hot. hot. <laughs> <laughs> so cooling and toning as well, because what you can taste is the tannin, isn't mm. it? A little yes. bit, not yes. strong, but just a little, it's not a, a strong no, tannin no, no, as no, the no. camellia we tried last no, no, year. No, but not. It yes, sort so. of has a pleasant. Mm. Yes, yeah. it does. Yeah. And for example, for headache, what would you? So you could combine it with rosemary. Rosemary, yes. yeah, which that's is a good, good for idea. the circulation. Yeah, to the and head. It's for the head. Yes, yeah, that's excellent. So, uh, yes, with a, um, a headache, combining some willow with some rosemary would make a nice tea. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it would. It that would taste very nice, I think. And for um, you can also use it for cardiovascular problems. What mm. would you use that? You, you know, it has this cooling uh, effect, and it's. That is because it drives the circulation to mm. the periphery, that cools you down. And uh, we were talking about that with cardiovascular problems. Another herb that that has a similar effect, apart from ginger, yes. that is also used very much for high blood pressure and anything that needs to give more space. So lime flowers, yes. And uh, um, we were also um, talking about the anticoagulant effect, weren't we? So. Um, herb like melilot yeah. could be could be used, um, and something like garlic, which is easily accessible. Yes. So you could have garlic and willow for your yes, yes. Well, <laughs> garlic's amazing. Yeah, herb on all levels for cardiovascular yeah complaints. What you would have to be careful though is if um, uh, you have any problems with salicylates. So yeah, if you if you are sensitive to them, then you wouldn't want to have willow because no. it's, yeah. or if you're allergic to aspirin yes. don't yes. have willow no 
And the, the other interesting herb is uh, to use it in combination with it is yarrow, both yes. for cardiovascular problems, but also yarrow is brilliant for um, for fevers yes. and for yes. as a, an antiviral yeah. and anti. Uh, biotic, so it would work very well in combination yes. with that. Yes, yarrow, and I often put um, lime flowers in a fever remedy mm. as well. That sounds so very nice. Cooling as well in that that way. So yeah, so, so willow. Yes, we're gonna uh, collect some. You can collect it at this time of year, and then uh, just dry it. Yes, uh, at room temperature, out of the sun. And then you have your will of supply for the whole yes. year. Yes, yeah. It's a ready, ready main painkiller. Pain we found another willow here, which might actually be easier to harvest yes, from. Yes, it's nice and low down, isn't yeah. it? And it's nice not long branches. Yeah, as exactly. Well. And uh, it's interesting because it's not quite as far in no. blossom as the other one. And the other no. one was kind of it in a be, yes. sun trap. Was this is a bit cooler. Here. Yeah. And this is a really old willow. Uh, you can see the uh, the bark of yes, the trunk yes, is uh, it's beautiful. Isn't yeah, it? it is. Really yeah. But we are going to harvest, so, so you can. Slightly. And what's interesting about willow as well is that it's very bendy, so yes. you can make baskets of it. Yes, obviously. that's why it's. There. But what's? But it's also snappy because at the end of the, the it's really easy to break yes. the branches as long as you break them at the at the bottom but you can curl them round and do all sorts of yeah. things, can't you? Folks? But at, uh, in the uh, corners, they yeah. break really easily. So we're going to do... do I've got one, got one, I'll hold that. So let's do if a I hold your ba the basket and you okay, strip, I, strip. I think that might work. Uh, I'm only going to strip the bark, Francis. But strip the bark? <laughs> it's too, it's too Still old. a bit chilly. <laughs> Any other type of stripping, I'd say. <laughs> it's not advisable no. on a day like this. So that's just peeling off now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, you just need to get to the... I mean, it takes a bit of time to uh, harvest a kilo. Yes, yes. <laughs> but you'd probably just pick a bunch of branches and then Take them do home. it at home. Oh yes. yeah, what a good idea. <laughs> but it's very lovely. This is a sort of green... Mm. Green willow, easy so to recognise. Yes, I think recognize that's the bendy it. bit. Yeah. 